Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. On this channel, we usually talk about setting up networks, Wi-Fi networks, network cabling, so on and so forth. But we don't talk a lot about professional grade tools. NetAlley was kind enough to send me this Etherscope NXG to do some videos on, and that's what we're gonna do. This initial video will just be an overview of the Etherscope NXG, showing some of the settings, and then in another video, we'll do some heat map scans. Right off the hop, the Etherscope NXG isn't for home users. This is for professionals who do this every day, unless you have deep pockets. We take a look on amazon.com, we could see the Etherscope NXG is $10,544 USD. I currently don't own one of these, but I am saving up to get one for my business as it's an amazing device. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks. And if you'd like to support the channel, I have affiliate links, which I'll post in the description below. First, before we see what comes with the NetAlley Etherscope NXG, let's go through a couple of the key features. I'm also going to have some chapters down below, so if you want to skip parts, you can. Here are the key features with the NetAlley Etherscope NXG. We could install, test, verify, and troubleshoot technology upgrades. NBase-T, 10 gigabit Bluetooth BLE and Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6 networks with advanced Android-based troubleshooting apps and purpose-built test hardware. We could verify up to 10 gigabit Ethernet links, performance for critical servers, uplinks and key end devices, and validate Wi-Fi network performance. It empowers technicians who may not have access to network management systems or other engineer-level tools to access and document complex network deployments and multiple VLANs and Wi-Fi SSIDs. We get to seamlessly consolidate and manage field test data and integrate network management systems via the complementary Link Live Cloud service and we'll take a look at that in this video. And then we have faster and easier Wi-Fi site and Bluetooth surveys using their AirMapper site survey software. The NetAlley Etherscope NXG could automatically discover and instantly map your wired and Wi-Fi networks in Link Live, speeds troubleshooting and keeps network documentation up to date and it exports to Visio. So just based on those features alone, you could already tell that this is a great device. Now let's take a look at what comes with the Etherscope NXG. All right, and this is the case that the Etherscope NXG comes in. It's a pretty nice case and we have a couple slots to store things in. I have one of their other devices and it comes in the same style case. They give us a CAT 6A cable that is capable of doing up to 10 gigabits per second. Comes with the USB-C power adapter. And then we have a bunch of different modules in this bag. So we have a Finistar module, and I believe this is an SFP plus 10 gigabit fiber module. They give us a CAT 6A RJ45 coupler, and then it comes with six of these WireView cable IDs. So these are remote wire cable testers. So what we would do, we would go into the rooms that we need to test. We would plug each one of these in, and then on our patch panel, we could easily identify these cables. We also have an external directional antenna, and this would be used for our Wi-Fi or heat map scans. I'm not 100% sure if this comes with the kit. They do sell the kits in different varieties, so you'll have to make sure before buying. And of course, we have our NetAlley Etherscope NXG, and this is a very nice looking device. They give us a holder for the NXG, which is a hard case. On the front of our Etherscope, we have this touch display, which is fairly big. We have our power on. And then on the sides, we have these two buttons, which I'm not really sure what they are, but I believe they may be for volume, but we'll check into that after. On top, we have a LAN port, and then we have an SFP port. We have a USB, and then we have this pinout for our antenna. On the side, we have another RJ45 for Ethernet W map, and we have our USB-C as well as an SD slot. On the back, we have our speaker, and that's pretty much it that comes in the bag with the Etherscope NXG. Now that we've taken a look at the Etherscope NXG, we're gonna connect to Link Live. And what Link Live is, it's a unified results reporting analysis Wi-Fi and Bluetooth BLE slash site survey with Air Mapper. So any tests that we do, we could push it out to Link Live. One really cool feature with Link Live is we could remotely control our Etherscope NXG. And this is great if we have a technician in the field who isn't too tech savvy. We could remote in and do all the testing ourselves. So let's go ahead and remote into the Etherscope NXG. All we need to click is this remote button. And now it's establishing a secure connection. 
And this is the dashboard for the Etherscope NXG. We could see we have a bunch of different applications and this is running on Android. So we have auto test, ping TCP, and we have capture, which would be used for packet captures. We have a discovery tool, which will discover devices on our network, Wi-Fi path analysis, performance, and iPerf. And we also have our link live cable test and a user guide. But there are more apps to this. Let's click the up arrow and it will bring more apps up. The remote connection, as you can tell, it lags a little bit. Once I press a button, it goes instantly on the Etherscope NXG and changes the setting. I don't know if there's another setting to make this a little quicker. If you know, please leave it in the comments below. So as you can see, we have a bunch of different apps. So we have AirMapper, AngryPort, AnyConnect. We have the App Store and then AutoTest, as well as calendars, cameras, so on and so forth. There's a lot to go through with this Etherscope NXG. So let's perform a basic iPerf test. I'm going to click on iPerf. And this computer is the iPerf server at 192.168.10.229, and I'll press start. And the iPerf test is done for the upload and the download. We could see that the maximum we got was 800 megabits per second, and the average was 732.6 megabits per second. And if we look at the download, it's pretty well the same. The average was 740.5 megabits per second. This is a great tool for troubleshooting networks. Now let's take a look at a few other apps. Now let's take a look at the Wi-Fi app. Now with the Wi-Fi channel map, we could look at our utilization or the overlap. We would see here, this is for the 2.4 gigahertz at 802.11 or non 802.11. We have retries AP and then we have clients. Below that, that's for the five gigahertz and we could also look at the overlaps. So from channels one to 14 on the 2.4, we could see there's quite a bit of overlap. And that's due to the natures of 2.4 gigahertz. We only have the three channels, 1, 6, and 11. If we go down to the bottom, we could look at different channels. So channel 36 to 64, which is on the five gigahertz. And then we could go to 149 to 165. And this gives us a good idea of what channel to set our wireless access points to. We want to use the channel one that's not overlapping and two that's not being overutilized. Now let's take a look at the path analysis. So we're going to go out to google.ca and we'll press start. And it's showing in progress in the amount of hops. And I could tell that the remote connection is going a lot faster now. There's not as much lag. So it looks like it's been completed. So the destination was reached and it took 16 hops. So this is great to see where we're going. We can see it's the Mac Telecom Eval Unit, which is the Etherscope NXG. And then we have a layer two path. It's going to my UDM SE. And from there, we could see all the different routes that it takes to get to google.ca, which is really great. And if we're on site using this tool, we could upload this file to link live. We would just click this button and it would bring it to the web page so that we could look at it further. And the last test that we're going to do for this video will be a cable test. So I have a patch panel, which you would find in your MDF or your IDF rooms. On the other end, I have the wire view cable IDs, which is the remote end. And these would be found in your walls or in your desks. So let's go ahead and do some cable tests. Now we have the cable test app pulled up and we could see that we have no cable in it currently. And it's telling us to use the port on the side. So I'm going to plug in this patch cable to it. Now the patch cable is plugged in. I'm going to plug the other end into the patch panel on number four, and then we could start the test. Okay. And we could see that our pinout is good and that we're using remote end number one. So this is a way if you hadn't labeled your cables previously, to know which number it is on the patch panel. I'm gonna to move to another port on the patch panel. Now we're on data jack number two on the patch panel. Let's press start. And we can see that it's remote ID number two and the cable is 16 feet and the pinout is good. Now, if we would wanna see this report in Link Live, we would click the three dots and then we would click upload to link live. Below we could give it a file name, we could give it a comment, and then we could do it a job name. I'm just gonna leave it at default and save to link live. Now we're in link live, we could see that we have the test result here and it's showing us the cable test data. There's one, two, three, six, four, five, and seven and eight are all good. And you could print this off and give it to your client if they ask. Also down below, we could see a screenshot of the test results. There is more you could do with these test results, but I'll show you in another video as well as testing the fiber optic cable. So that's going to be it for the overview of the Etherscope NXG. In the next video, a lot more people will probably want to see this. And this is the Air Mapper where we could do our Wi-Fi heat scans. If there's anything specific you'd like to see, please leave it down in the comments below. I'm really liking the Etherscope NXG, even though it is pricey, it's over $10,000 USD. Like I stated in the beginning, this is for professionals. So if you're doing Wi-Fi installs every day, cabling installs, networking installs, 
This unit for the price is really good. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.